and welcome to another episode of Sketchbook Sessions. For this episode, we're working on two small landscapes. I'll be using this set of poster colors and poster paints that I got from online. They're from a vintage uh, surplus shop, so some of the tubes are missing, but I got them for a really cheap price, so it was worth it. Let me finish prepping and we'll get to painting. The first painting is a monochromatic study of a little scene uh, that I found on Pinterest. The primary color I'm using is mauve. I mentioned before that I got these paints from a vintage uh, Japan surplus shop and the seller was selling like 30 plus tubes of poster color paints for like five bucks and a lot of them were uh, multiples of one color. I have about 10 plus tubes of this mauve shade but i still decided to buy it because i thought you know they'd be great for studies like this one for the sketchbook well technically it's not a sketchbook per se it's it's actually a postcard book it's called the artist style postcards and it's made up of 400 gsm cardstock in a four by six inch size i got this way way back like a few years ago and i've been using it for mini landscape studies mostly black and white but i decided to just finish the entire thing and that's why we're doing this little sketchbook session let's talk about the painting i didn't do a, an underdrawing for this one so it's a bit wonky i should have done that especially with like when when dealing with lines it's always better to do an underdrawing instead of just eyeballing everything but the truth is that i also just wanted to paint you know sometimes studies don't have to be perfect and sometimes it's just much more fun to directly paint regardless of the outcome so I did correct this afterwards and I tried my best to make sure that it looks correct. <laughs> the lines and the stairs look correct. Anyway, um, I did like how this painting turned out. I was initially drawn to, the, to drawing the clouds. Basically, uh, when I saw this reference photo over at Pinterest. And I liked how that turned out. But I did have trouble with painting the stairs so yeah i just tried to salvage what i could with the stairs and i just tried to have fun as well while i was painting this i mean you can aim for perfection when you're doing professional work and especially if you're doing for somebody else but you know for studies like this when you're just randomly doodling or painting on your sketchbook for for fun then I think it's important to give yourself a little leeway and just make mistakes, you know, and try and correct them or try and problem solve your way through them. Here you see me adding the small details to the painting and uh, I realized that it took me a while to switch to a smaller brush while I was working on this. I don't know why. I tend to use like one brush for majority of the paintings and I won't switch out to a smaller brush even though I'll get better results if I did. I, I tend to just not switch to it or use it until until I am forced to do so, which is, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I, I, you know, sometimes it's just easier to switch to smaller brushes. I think the reason for it is that I've always had this weird 
idea that you are supposed to just use the biggest brushes you have for for painting to prevent you from just doodling on details straight away so yeah that's kind of stuck anyway here's the finished painting Let's move on to the next one. This second painting is of a Japanese post box. I think you see this kind of photos um, on Pinterest a lot and I I liked how it looked so I decided to just go ahead and paint them I especially liked how uh, it was behind or it was in front of a bunch of blue hydrangeas that were in full bloom so I, I love the contrast between the blue shades and the red post box I used the knicker poster paints for this one I always love how these paints dried to a matte finish I love the texture that they give off and they're a bit runny at times like when you first use them but you know once I usually in between coats I allow them to dry especially if you're layering but I love the vibrancy of the shades and they always give off that very cool anime vibe <music> In terms of painting the layers, I start off with the darkest color. I let that dry a bit before I start applying the next lighter shade uh, and then um, even lighter than that one or the highlights. I love the fact that you can layer these without any problem as long as you don't agitate the surface because they do have a tendency to reactivate if you scrub it too hard when applying the succeeding colors. I'll go ahead and leave you to enjoy the rest of the painting. I'll see you towards the end of the video.
Here we're down to the finishing touches. I kept this painting very simple, just adding enough details to make it recognizable. The contrast between the blue and the red really stood out and I really liked how it turned out. And I hope you guys liked it too. I'll go ahead and leave you guys here. I'll see you on the next sketchbook session. And I hope you enjoyed this one. See ya. Bye.